What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Richie Ruckus. We are back here today. It is Tuesday, April 17th. I got a super dope video for you guys today. Before we get into this video, peep the John shirt. We got the swoosh. We got the Adidas A. We got the Adidas Trifle. We got the Nike N. If you guys are not familiar with the word John, it is a noun, adjective, verb, future past, current tense word that we use here in Philly. It pretty much means anything. But I took the word John and added my own little flair on it. These are available on RichieRuckus.com. It is a black t-shirt with a very deep burgundy, almost purple font. And they're on sale on RichieRuckus.com right now. So today's video, if you guys know anything about me, if you guys have been keeping up with the channel, you know that the Nike Vapor Max is my favorite sneaker on the market. And it's not just relegated to the Vapor Max 1.0. As you guys know, this full length air unit that is just completely visible and in my opinion, the most comfortable sole and most comfortable thing you could walk on at this point in 2018. So today we're gonna to be jumping into a little bit of a comparison video. We're gonna be digging into the Vapor Max 1.0. I'm using my kaleidoscope colorway here as the example, as I'm just a humongous fan of this multicolor pattern. We're also gonna be using the Vapor Max Mach is part of this comparison. The Vapor Max 2.0 in this dusty cactus colorway. The Vapor Max Plus, I'm going to use my Volt colorway. This pair I recently just picked up and did a review on a few videos ago. And the pair that are currently on my feet, the Silver Bullet Vapor Max 97s. The first thing I wanna say, no matter what pair you go with, but no matter what model you go with, the bottom of your foot the cushioning is identical on every single one of these pairs. It more is about your personal preference on an upper. Now, I know a lot of people, myself included because of my short stature and just the way I rock jeans, pulling off the Vapor Max with jeans is a little bit of a finesse game. You got to make sure you have the right pair of jeans on. No Nike denim. No bootleg. You got to have skinny jeans on to properly rock these if you're rocking the Vapor Max with jeans. You definitely have to have a more tapered ankle on the pair of pants that you wear. So a lot of people have found complaints with the new Vapor Max 2.0 coming out so early. You know, there are some distinct differences. The swoosh is a lot smaller. You have an actual visible plastic-ish heel cup. You have a pull tab on the back. They kind of got rid of Vapor Max branding on the back. Got rid of the Nike branding on the tongue on the 2.0 and just have Vapor Max branding. The one thing about the 2.0 that stands out to me personally, again, this is about my personal preference, the cut is a little bit higher on these. There's still a low top, but it's not so much of a sock-like upper. The upper goes up a little bit more and gives you a little bit more ankle support, but more importantly, a little bit more build to the sneaker for your jeans to rest on. So I do think the 2.0 is a lot easier to throw a fit together with a pair of jeans. Now the mock, I know a lot of people were indifferent about having this big strap with the swoosh on it. I myself thought it was a cool, nice touch that Nike did just to break up the monotony of just putting out so many different colorways of the 1.0 in lace up. Now, if you look at the Kaleidoscope, which is a gray multicolor upper, and then look at the upper of the multicolor mock, the multicolor hits underneath this black a lot more than it does on the gray pair. It's, a, it's essentially the same exact pattern. It just seems to be a lot more darker and a lot more prevalent on the black colorway. And I'm sure that's because it had to show underneath the black fly knit that laid on top of the multicolor pattern. The Vapor Max Plus, again, very, very comfortable. It has that full length Vapor Max air throughout the bottom. And these, you can't go wrong with rocking these with jeans. It's a lot more of a bulkier shoe. It doesn't have the flimsiness and sock-like upper of fly knit throughout. It has the traditional Nike Air Max Plus upper. And I have these in the Volt and the Obsidian. I rock them both constantly. These are obviously new to the collection, but I've been getting my wear out of these. I thought it was a dope concept Nike did. Throwing the Vapor Max bottom on a bunch of older retro Nike Air Max models. If you have watched earlier Vapor Max videos of mine, I have been big on the sneaker since they first came out. And I know it wasn't 
you know, Nike listening to my to me or watching my videos, but I kind of asked that they would do something a little bit innovative and start throwing the Vapor Max bottom on older Air Max models. They have in fact done that, which brings us to the last shoe that we're going to talk about in this comparison video. The Silver Bullet. I just did a video on this you know, three videos ago. If you're going to talk iconic Air Max models, you're obviously talking about the Jim Red Air Max 1. You're obviously talking about the Vault Air Max 95. You're definitely talking about the Silver Bullet Air Max 97. So, like, there, them three sneakers I just named are three of my favorite sneakers of all time. You guys know, yes, I do a lot of boost. Yes, I do a lot. I'm very heavy with the Yeezys, I'm very heavy with the Jordans, but my first love with sneakers was that Jim Red Air Max 1, and, you know, I strayed away from Air Max for a little bit, and it was just, it was just the, the newer Air Maxes that were coming out were more of a, a running shoe and an athletic shoe than an actual lifestyle shoe, so I, I thought it was... Very dope that they, you know, introduced this, this Vapor Max technology to the world, and I'm just back. And I pretty much live in Vapor Max all day now, and I really hope that they're able to eventually pull off that Jim Red Air Max One upper with a Vapor Max bottom. The only thing I ask if Nike, if it don't look right, don't force it. Just don't do it if it ain't gonna really pop because it's my favorite sneaker of all time, and I think it would look super dope on that Vapor Max bottom if it was done right. Well, that's it, guys. I hope you enjoyed this little Vapor Max lesson that I gave you guys. I'll be back tomorrow with another video. But until then, I'm Richie Ruckus. Peace! Richie Ruckus Beat. Let's be.